You see, times will come in life where you're separated from your goals and separated from your dreams for a moment. But that separation creates a gap that you can close. That gap can be jumped. That gap can be reached. That gap can be surpassed. You get to go back and work on you. You get to go back and redefine you. You get to find out what skills that you lacked and add to them. Sometimes you hear a no because it's time for you to give yourself a yes. See, we want to grow, but we want to stay liked by everybody. I was willing to be my own rescue at the risk of your approval. But most of us aren't like that. We want to be liked. Well, I woke up and I like myself today, so your like is extra. My, my job is to like me first. I was willing to say every day, Lisa, you like you? Lisa, are you proud of you? Lisa, are you playing for loud? Every day before I checked in with anybody else. You can think about it, you can wish for it, you can hope for it, you can, can think all about it, all as long as you want. But unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. And I want you to take the word hope and I want you to throw it on the motherfucking ground and I want you to replace it with the word I will fucking do. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. It's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving for greatness and starving for success. I know what it's like to operate every single day, regardless of the success that I've been a lucky son of a bitch to achieve, I operate every day as if I'm starving. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving. You're not where you want to be. You feel like you're supposed to be somewhere else. Say you could snap your fingers and be wherever you wanted to be. I bet you'd still feel this way, not in the right place. The point is you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be that you forget how to make the most of where you are. You know what passion is? Passion is an emotion. It's an emotion without an action. Passion will get you nowhere. Inner drive will get you nowhere unless you act on it. You have to act on your passion. You have to act on your inner drive. Don't let those feelings stay inside of you. You got to know what to do with them. You got to know how to make them work in order to get what you want. No matter how much emotion and feeling you may have or how much hurt you may have, life has to go on. Life doesn't stop mm -hmm. for anybody. So if you don't process that and understand that, you're stuck in whatever time period you got hurt forever. So grudges and anger and negativity, I don't have time for it because I'm living to do so much positive things. I can't stand in the past and bathe in what was wrong. Yes, I'll start my own business. Yes, I'll make you know my name. Yes, you'll see me. For everyone that made a team over me, everyone that made a team over you, everyone that got the job above you, everyone that got something that you thought you should have had, they will know your name. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. You will end up a loser, unconsciously. Unconsciously, you will pick up their ways, you'll pick up their habits, you'll pick up, most importantly, their attitude about life. If you're around cynical, negative people all the time, you will become cynical and negative. You got to watch yourself. Many of us are living out the lives of other people, living out their conclusions, living out of their consciousness. But now you know it's time to refine who you were. Being able to realize that you should have, you should not have let me see that, no. 
Raymond, I'm glad you did. Because now, I will open that damn door. Don't get overwhelmed with the diagnosis. Don't get overwhelmed with the email. Don't get overwhelmed with the letter. Don't get overwhelmed with what your naysayers say. Don't get overwhelmed with the non-believers. Don't get overwhelmed with what your haters say. Don't get overwhelmed with what your enemy said. Don't get overwhelmed. Took on all the responsibility you could take on, and you faced everything that you needed to face. What would you be like? Who would you be? And how would the world transform around you? And well, if if the partial answer is well, if I do that a little bit, things get a fair bit better. Then the next question might be, well, what if you did that completely? And to look toward making this your decade, as you begin to look toward making your life different, as you begin to look at yourself, you got to redefine yourself. Who are you right now? And who must you become in order to create what you want? What has to change about you? What is it that you're doing right now that would be a liability for you? As you begin to look toward the future and take inventory of yourself, what is it about you right now that you've got to leave this behind? Because this no longer fits. Looking at where you want to go and the kind of person that you must become, the kind of standards that you have for you. You must have a thirst for greatness. You gotta want it more than you wanted anything. You gotta desire it. You gotta get over stuff. I mean, you gotta get to the point where you're like, I want it and I will not be denied. When you get there, it's a powerful place. Because success now must come to you. Danger is very real. But fear is a choice. We are all telling ourselves a story.